Lynch. <laughs> and you're watching Backstage Bike. My Disney dreams are coming true today. I have Disney's Aladdin with Rodney Ingram. Oh, my Prince Charming. <sighs> Rodney? Oh my God, he's here. What? Yes, he's here. Hey. So happy you're here. Oh my gosh. You're in Aladdin. How much fun is it? Go. The most fun. <laughs> do you um, feel like your childhood dreams are just coming true? I do. I get to understudy Aladdin. Came out the year I was born. I get to work opposite Jonathan Freeman, who is the original voice of Jafar. Oh my gosh. Where are you from? I'm originally from Mexico. I was able to learn English and Spanish both from a very young age. You're bilingual. Oh, I'm yeah. so jealous. I moved to Paris, France for the last two years of my high school. That's crazy. You speak French? Yes. <laughs> I went to the American school in Puerto Vallarta, so it's common practice to transfer to other American schools elsewhere. So I just, I transferred to the American school in Paris. By yourself? By myself when I was 16 years old. That's crazy. It was so much fun. I'm jealous of my younger self having been able to travel and to eat all the French cheeses and breads and things like that, so. How much do you know about cooking and baking? Go! But somewhat! Um, my mom he is a knows phenomenal knows a lot! <laughs> baking is actually not my strong suit. I'm more of like a hands-on type Ooh. situation, so we'll see. We are going to be making... Magic carpet bars. Magic carpet bars? Magic Tell carpet me more! Bars. Okay, we need to get that. started! Let's First off, we are going to do two cups of crushed graham crackers. A sleeve and a half. How long have you been in Aladdin? A little over a year and a half. It's a blast oh. to ride the carpet, be in the Cave of Wonders. It's truly a dream. The rareness of it is not lost on me. Did you have any connection to Aladdin? Other than just being a huge Disney fan, loving the movie when I was growing up, being obsessed with the cartoon. Add one stick of melted margarine. You want a little bit more oil. Perfect. Oh, man. Nice. Now we are going to mix these ingredients together. Let's mix. mix belt! All right. You are given $1 million today, no strings attached. What would you do with it? How many genies does that give me? <laughs> That's such a hard question. <laughs> well, I would love to be able to travel. I've never been to Australia or New Zealand. And that would be really rad. Next, you need to spray your pan, and then we're going to press this into a nice little graham cracker. For a quarter second spray, there's like zero calories. So if you do a whole bunch of quarter second sprays, zero calories the whole time. <laughs> no calories, no calories, no calories, no calories. Do you have a specific post-show ritual? I am uh, self-admittedly a grumpy old man, actually. <laughs> After we leave the theater, I go home and I relax. I watch TV, go straight to bed, drink my oval tea, put my bifocals on, put my head cap on, it's a whole thing. Now you're gonna do a cup of chopped nuts. We're using our Oster blender, but there's a food processor attachment. That's awesome. So you have like four appliances in one. That's awesome. Look at those finely chopped nuts. What's your policy on eating the ingredients? I'll allow it. Half the bag of chocolate chips. Sweet. Sprinkle sparingly as you would like. What is this Donut Dudes thing? <laughs> donut Dudes is somewhat of a passion project of mine and my friend Isaac. He basically, we always met and cooked food and invited our friends over. In unfounded confidence in our blood sugar and cholesterol, we were like, mm -hmm. let's make some donuts. We just started making donuts and we're just like, dude, we can like do this a lot more. From a mere dozen or so donuts that we made is now a full on fledged party. Boom. We're gonna do a cup and a half of coconut. Beautiful. Nice. Take your beautifully chopped nuts. Yes. Tell me about your first time going on as Aladdin. Scariest moment. My family came from Mexico, full on in costume with the magic in front of 1800 of your closest friends. Definitely scary. The, basically one of the first scenes in the show is one jump. Jumping on all sorts of buildings and like dodging guards with swords. Once I heard the button of the number and I got to pose with the loaf of bread, I was like, okay, now, now we can. I can do the rest now of the we show. Can, now we can do the rest of the show. Sweet and condensed milk. Why, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this is like always been a dream of mine to be on a cooking show. Really? I really, and I grew up obsessed with them. Oh. Always in front of the TV, that's what I would watch. What's your favorite thing that your mom? That my mom cooked. Like, her salsas are amazing. Great. Say it again, so, say it again. <laughs> some salsas? 
<laughs> Whenever she comes, I'm like, Thing is, a lot of times she has to bring the chilies from Mexico, so it's really, really something special. So, 350 degrees Great. for 20 minutes. Now, we're gonna get to know you as fast as possible in my favorite section. Preguntas rápidas! Preguntas rápidas! Excelente! <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock. One, two, three, go! Favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, cookies and cream. Ooh, what side of the bed do you sleep on? Right. Hot or cold? Hot. How do you like your steak cooked? Medium rare. Ooh. Backyard or rooftop access? Rooftop access. Book or tablet? Book. Hmm. Snorkel or scuba dive? Snorkel. Boxers or briefs? Um, briefs. <laughs> Favorite band? Uh, you too. Ooh. Go to audition song? Uh, I'll jump. Ooh. Sweet or salty? Sweet. Favorite candy? Ah, uh, Reese's. <laughs> ah! We got almost through every one! These look so delicious! I think we've done it. I think we should summon a little friend of ours. Our friend All right. Isaac! All right. Here. It's the second oh. donut dude! Let's we... take our magic carpet bars. Let's do it. Okay. Look, it's the three wishes. You wish for one, I wish for one, and you wish for one. Exactly. Ah. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm really into it. And they're so easy. They're so easy. We have a little background on it. Tell me all about it. Yeah. This was our biggest party yet. Definitely, by so, far. How many people ended up attending? Do you know? 170? Sure. That's a lot of people. Around that. Wow. Circa 1,500 donuts. How many people made these? 15 people yeah. throughout wow. the 27 hours. We just had an assembly line of garnish, glaze, fry, and... What did you have this year? The margarita donut, Snickers donut, boa, pizza, pizza, bacon cheddar jalapeno, wasabi ginger, the apple pie ala mode, cinnamon roll, cinnamon roll, roll banana paper, split, paper, chocolate cubed, Maple bacon, bro. Maple bacon. Thank goodness I ate something just a second ago because y'all are making me salivate. <laughs> Guys, my dudes, <laughs> thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having us. Guys, how do I follow you? Well, you go to thedonutdudes.com, check out everything donut related. And then how do I follow you? Instagram at rodney.ingram. Easy. Mm -hmm. On Instagram at Isaac Haas. Easy peasy for you yeah. easy. And don't forget to follow us at Backstage Bite. Backstage fight. <laughs> this is gonna change your world, almost like you're giving you a whole new world. I see what you did there. Come see Rodney. He's the understudy for Aladdin in Aladdin at the new Amsterdam Theater. See you next time on a backstage fight.